Do you know this feeling? You set a goal and you try and you try and you try, but you eventually always end up failing. And this cycle keeps on repeating itself over and over again. It might be hard to accept, but the problem is probably you. But here's how to fix that. We as humans, we often stand in our own way when it comes to achieving our goals. We don't like change and we're often scared what will happen once we eventually reach those goals. So that is why we end up standing in our own way. So we self-sabotage. Self-sabotage happens when two desires are conflicting within you. One conscious desire, the goal you set for yourself, and one unconscious desire, who doesn't really want to achieve that goal. So they battle it out and that unconscious desire is often a lot stronger. So we end up fulfilling that need ending in self-sabotage. The only solution to this is making the unconscious conscious. But how the hell do you do that? You need to become a whole lot more self-aware. And that is not easy. It's a journey and a learning curve and sometimes you will get it totally wrong and that is totally okay. But here are some prompts that will help you get you on your way. What are your root desires? Figure out what your values are. Your values are the things that deep down you want the most. For example, if one of your values is freedom, a very strict schedule will not sit well with you. And because we often aren't aware of our values and our core desires, we don't take them into account when we are setting our goals and deciding on our habits. If you want some support in figuring out what your values are, I actually have a free download for this and you can find it in the description box. Observe your self-sabotaging behaviors. There is a reason that you do them. Maybe you never go on a run because you're actually just really tired and you need rest. Maybe you never go to yoga class because you don't feel confident on the mat yet and you're afraid of judgment. So you're actually just trying to keep yourself safe. And then if you have defined what comfort lies within these behaviors, find ways that you can honor that comfort in a different way. Or if fear comes into play, how can you ease yourself into the activity? For example, with yoga, if you don't feel confident on your mat yet, can you practice at home until you feel comfortable going to class? Then take a look at your goals and your daily actions. Do they actually align with those values? Or can you tweak them so they actually do line up if that is not the case already? This might have to be in unconventional ways. For example, one of my values is freedom. And instead of trying to stick to a very strict working schedule, I ask myself every morning, where I want to work. This can be in the office, this can be at home, this can be anywhere I want to. That way I still feel like I have some freedom while still sticking to my to-do list. Same thing goes for my value of creativity. I struggle a lot with mundane tasks because of it, so I try to make games out of them so I can come up with creative ways on how to complete them. And lastly, it is incredibly important to listen to both your mind and your body. They both communicate with you constantly. So make sure you have regular check-ins through meditation or journaling to see what your body and your mind are trying to tell you. Limiting beliefs. Self-sabotage gets on a whole other level when limiting beliefs come into play. These beliefs got formed by past experiences that often aren't rational at all. They are weird assumptions that you now follow to protect yourself from something that happened in the past. But it's really hard to go against them. So you need to rewrite them. Don't try to change the behavior alone. Change the belief rewrite your story. Look for the evidence that contradicts the beliefs that you have. For example, if you think that you are too old to start a certain hobby, try looking for people who did something similar to you who were the same age or maybe even older. Or add yet. This little word is so powerful. I am not good enough becomes I am not good enough yet. You just changed that statement from something static that might never change to something that you can change. That little yet just opened a whole realm of possibilities of how you can better yourself. And I'll leave you with a quote to inspire you. Your past doesn't define you. You start to let it go the second you take a step forward to a better you. Get to know yourself deeply. Part of this is just taking really good care of yourself. Try to get to know yourself 
on the same level as you want to know the person that you love the most. Learn how to support yourself in the same way as you would support them when they were having a bad day or when they needed motivation. How can you support yourself best? Do you need space, encouragement, people around you that can motivate you? How do you react to difficult situations? Is it with anger? Is it with fear? Is it with sadness? And what helps you deal with these emotions? What makes you feel better? How can you process them? What are those things that trigger these emotions? And how can you maybe avoid them in the future? Or can you learn how to cope with them better? As you can see, it is again all about taking really good care of yourself. And I feel like a broken record at this point. It's what I'm telling you all the time on this channel. But it really works in almost every single situation. I'll let you go with one last quote. You can become anything you want to be if only you let yourself become it. And that was the whole entire video. I hope you learned something. I hope you are well on your way of getting out of your own way. If you liked the video, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, you can always follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I will leave both of them linked down below. And if you happen to really like me and want to better your life, I quickly wanted to talk about the Dream Life coaching program that I'm opening up again in the middle of May. It is a three month coaching program where we will figure out what your dream life looks like, how you can get there and what are the steps of implementing to get to that dream life. You will enter a community of like-minded people who will probably become your friends forever. We will have weekly coaching calls, planning sessions, journaling prompts, whatever you want, you name it, we will probably have it. So if it's something that might interest you, you can now enroll yourself. You can find it in the description box down below. And with that, this really is the end of the video and I will see you again next time. Toodaloo!